Namaste, Dandavat Pranam. By the instruction and grace of our spiritual master, Om Vishnu Pad Paramahamsa, Sri Pad Bhakti Madhava Puri Maharaj, we are here reading Sri Mad Bhagavatam. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Dandavat Pranam, Om Devi. Hare Krishna, Dandavat Pranam Prabhuji. Canto 4, The Creation of the Fourth Order, Chapter 11, Text 14. Samprashane Bhagavati Purusha Prakritargunai Vimukto Jiva Nirmukto Brahma Nirvanam Richati One who actually satisfies the Supreme Personality of Godhead during one's lifetime becomes liberated from the gross and subtle material conditions. Thus being freed from all material modes of nature, he achieves unlimited spiritual bliss. Purport. In the previous verse, it has been explained that one should treat all living entities with tolerance, mercy, friendship, and equality. By such behavior, one satisfies the Supreme Personality of Godhead, and upon his satisfaction, the devotee immediately becomes free from all material conditions. The Lord also confirms this in Bhagavad Gita. Anyone who sincerely and seriously engages in service immediately becomes situated in the transcendental stage wherein he can enjoy unlimited spiritual bliss. Everyone in this material world is struggling hard in order to achieve a blissful life. Unfortunately, people do not know how to achieve it. Atheists do not believe in God, and certainly they do not please him. Here it is clearly said that upon pleasing the Supreme Personality of Godhead, one immediately attains to the spiritual platform and enjoys unlimited blissful life. To become free from material existence means to become free from the influence of material nature. The word samprashane, which is used in this verse, means being satisfied. A person should act in such a way that the Lord is satisfied by the activity. It is not that he himself is to be satisfied. satisfied. Of course, when the Lord is satisfied, the devotee automatically becomes satisfied. This is the secret of the process of bhakti yoga. Outside of bhakti yoga, everyone is trying to satisfy himself. No one is trying to satisfy the Lord. Karmis grossly try to satisfy their senses, but even those who are elevated to the platform of knowledge also try to satisfy themselves in a subtle form. Karmis try to satisfy themselves by sense gratification, and jnanis try to satisfy themselves by subtle activities or mental speculation and thinking themselves to be God. Yogis also try to satisfy themselves by thinking that they can achieve different mystic perfections. But devotees, only devotees, try to satisfy the Supreme Personality of Godhead. The devotees' process of self-realization is completely different from the processes of karmis, jnanis, and yogis. Everyone, is, everyone else is trying to satisfy himself whereas the devotee tries only to satisfy the Lord. The devotional process is completely different from the others. By working to please the Lord, by engaging his senses in the Lord's loving service, the devotee is immediately situated on the transcendental platform and he enjoys unlimited blissful life. Text 15. Bhutai pancha bir arhabdang Yosit Purusha Evahi Tayorvya Bhayat Sambutir Yosit Purusha Yor Iha. The creation of the material world begins with the five elements, and thus everything, including the body of a man or a woman, is created of these elements. By the sexual life of man and woman, the number of men and women in this material world is further increased. Purport. When Svayam Bhuva Manu saw that Dhruva Maharaj understood the philosophy of Vaishnavism and yet was still dissatisfied because of his brother's death, 
He gave him an explanation of how this material body is created by the five elements of material nature. In Bhagavad Gita, it is also confirmed, Prakriti Kriyamanani. Everything is created, maintained, and annihilated by the material modes of nature. In the background, of course, there is the direction of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. This is also confirmed in Bhagavad Gita. My had Yakshena. In the ninth chapter, Krishna says, Under my superintendence, material nature is acting. Svayambhuva Manu wanted to impress on Dhruva Maharaj that the death of the material body of his brother was not actually the Yaksha's fault. It was an act of the material nature. The Supreme Personality of Godhead has immense various potencies and they act in different gross and subtle ways. It is by such powerful potencies that the universe is created. Although grossly it appears to be no more than the five elements, earth, water, fire, air, and ether. Similarly, the bodies of all species of living entities, whether human beings, demigods, animals, or birds, are also created by the same five elements. And by sexual union, they expand into more and more living entities. That is the way of creation, maintenance, and annihilation. One should not be disturbed by the waves of material nature in this process. Dhruva Maharaj was indirectly advised not to be afflicted by the death of his brother because our relationship with the body is completely material. The real self, the spirit soul, is never annihilated or killed by anyone. Text 16. Evam prabharta te sarga stiti samyama evacha gunhavyati karad rajan Mayaya Paramatmana. Manu continued, My dear King Dhruva, it is simply by the illusory material energy of the Supreme Personality of Godhead and by the interaction of the three modes of material nature that creation, maintenance, and annihilation take place. Purport. First, creation takes place with the ingredients of the five elements of material nature. Then, by the interaction of the modes of material nature, maintenance also takes place. When a child is born, the parents immediately see to its maintenance. This tendency for maintenance of offspring is present not only in human society, but in animal society as well. Even tigers, for their, even tigers care for their cubs, although their propensity is to eat other animals. By the interaction of the material modes of nature, creation, maintenance, and also annihilation take place inevitably. But at the same time, we should know that all is conducted under the superintendence of the Supreme Personality of God. Everything is going on under that process. Creation is the action of the Rajagun, the mode of passion, maintenance uh, is the action of Satvagun, and the mode of goodness. And the annihilation is the action of Tamagun, the mode of ignorance. We can see that those who are situated in the mode of goodness live longer than those who are situated in the Tamagun or Rajagun. In other words, if one is elevated to the mode of goodness, he is elevated to a higher planetary system where the duration of life is very great. Or Advangachanti Sattvasta. Great rishis, sages, and sannyasis who maintain themselves in Sattvagun or the mode of material nature of goodness, uh, are elevated to a higher planetary system. Those who are transcendental, even to the material modes of nature, are situated in the mode of pure goodness, and they attain eternal life in the spiritual world. Text 17. Nimhita matram tatrasim nirguna purusharsabha Yatavyaktam idam vishvam, yatra brahmati lohavat. My dear Dhruva, the Supreme Personality of Godhead is uncontaminated by the modes of material nature. He is the remote cause of the creation of this material cosmic manifestation. When he gives the impetus, many other causes and effects are produced. And thus the whole universe moves, just as an iron moves by the integrated force of a magnet. 
purport. How the external energy of the Supreme Personality of Godhead works within this material world is explained in this verse. Everything is happening by the energy of the Supreme Lord. The atheistic philosophers who do not agree to the acceptance of the Supreme Personality of Godhead as the original cause of the creation think that the material world moves by the action and reaction of different material elements. A simple example of the interaction of the elements occurs when we mix soda and acid and the movement of effervescence is produced. But one cannot produce life by such interaction of chemicals. There are 8,400,000 different species of life with different wishes and different actions. How the material force is working cannot be explained just on the basis of chemical reaction. A suitable example in this connection is that the potter and the potter's wheel. The potter's wheel rotates and several varieties of earthen pots come out. There are many causes for the earthen pots, but the original cause is the potter, who sets a force on the wheel. That force comes by his superintendence. The same idea is explained in Bhagavad Gita. Behind all material action and reaction, there is Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Krishna says that everything depends on his energy, but the potter is not in the pot. In a similar way, the material creation is set up by the Lord, but he remains aloof, as stated in the Vedas. He simply glanced over it, and the agitation of matter immediately began. In Bhagavad Gita, it is also said that the Lord impregnates the material energy with part and parcel jivas, and thus the different forms of different activities immediately ensue. Because of the different desires and karmic activities of the jiva soul, Different types of bodies and different species are produced. In Darwin's theory, there is no acceptance of the living entity as a spirit soul, and therefore his explanation of evolution is incomplete. Varieties of phenomena occur within this universe on account of the actions and reactions of the three material modes. But the original creator or the cause is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who is mentioned here as Nimitta Matram, the remote cause. He simply pushes the wheel with his energy. According to the Mayavadi philosophers, the Supreme Brahman has transformed himself into many great varieties of forms, but that is not the fact. He is always transcendental to the actions and reactions of the material gunas, although he is the cause of all causes. Lord Brahma therefore says in Brahma Samhita 5.1, Ishvaraha Paramaha Krishnaha Satchirananda Vigraha Adhir Adhir Govindaha Sarva Karana Karana. There are many cause and effects, but the original cause is Sri Krishna. Text 18. Sakalvidam Bhagavan Kalas Shakya Kuna Prabhahena Vibhakti Virya Karotya kartaiva nihantya hanta Chista vibhunam kalu dhruvir bhavya The Supreme Personality of Godhead, by his inconceivable supreme energy, time, causes the interaction of the three modes of material nature and thus varieties of energy become manifest. It appears that he is acting, but he is not the actor. He is killing, but he is not the killer. Thus, it is understood that only by his inconceivable power is everything happening. Purport. The word Dorvi Bhavya, Dorvi Bhavya means inconceivable by our tiny brain, and Vibhakti Virya means divided in varieties of potencies. This is the right explanation of the display of the creative energies in the material world. We can better understand the mercy of God by an example. A government state is always supposed to be merciful, but sometimes in order to keep law and order, the government employs its police force and thus punishment is meted out to the rebellious citizens. Similarly, the Supreme Personality of Godhead is always merciful and full of transcendental qualities, but certain individual souls have forgotten their relationship with Krishna and have endowed, have endeavored to lord it over material nature. As a result of their endeavor, they are involved in various material interaction. 
It is incorrect to argue, however, that because energy issues from the Supreme Personality of Godhead, he is the actor. In the previous verse, the word nimitta matram indicates that the Supreme Lord is completely aloof from the action and reaction of this material world. How is everything being done? The word inconceivable has been used. It is not within the power of one's small brain to comprehend, unless one accepts the inconceivable power and energy of the Lord. One cannot make any progress. The forces which act are certainly set up by the Supreme Personality of Godhead, but he is always aloof from their action and reaction. The varieties of energies produced by the interaction of material nature produce varieties of species of life and their resultant happiness and unhappiness. How the Lord acts is nicely explained in the Vishnu Purana. Fire is situated in one place, while the heat and light produced by the fire act in many different ways. Another example given is the electric powerhouse, situated in one place, but by its energies, many different types of machinery move. The production is never identical with the original source of the energy, but the original source of the energy being the prime factor is simultaneously one with and different from the product. Therefore, Lord Chaitanya's philosophy, Achintya Bheda Bheda Tattva, is the perfect way of understanding. In this material world, the Lord incarnates in three forms as Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva, by which he takes charge of the uh, three modes of material nature. By his incarnation of Brahma, he creates as the incarnation of Vishnu, he maintains, and by his incarnation of Shiva, he also annihilates. But the original source of Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva, Garbhodaksha Vishnu, is always apart from these actions and reactions of the material nature. And thus ends our reading for today. We'll continue from text 19 on Wednesday. Are there any comments or questions from the assembled devotees? Jayam Vishnu Pad Paramahamsa Sri Pad Bhakti Madhava Puri Maharaj Ki Jayam. Jai Srila Prabhupada, Srila Guru Maharaj, Srila Guru Dev, Srila Acharya Dev, Srila Shanta Maharaj, Kija. Jai. All glory to the assembled devotees, all glory to the worldwide devotees, Sama Bhakti Veda Vrinda Kija. Jai Navadweep Dham Kija, Nishinga Pali Dham Kija, Ayapur Dham Kija. Jagannath Puri Dham Kija. Jagannath Bade Subhadra Ju Kija. Ganga Mahi Yamuna Mahi Kijai from Davan Dham Kijai, Gil Govind Gupi Govind Dham Kijai, Shyam Kun Ram Kun Kijai, Tulsi Devi Bhakti Devi Vrinda Devi Kijai, Jai Shrimad Bhagavatam Kijai, Jai Harinam Sankirtan Yagya Kijai, Scientific Sankirtan Yagya Kijai, Princeton Bhakti Vedanta Institute Kijai, Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Institute Tijai, Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat Tijai, Nitai Gaura Pramanandi, Hari 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 Bo, Ashmati Umadevi Dasi Tijai. Hari Pad Krishna Kesha Prabhu Ji Ki Jai. Dandavas Pranam 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 Pranam